I'm going to talk about uh, local with Franza Bielia, who has set up uh, Visual Brum as a place for people to post videos and also um, slideshows. So um, why did you do it and how does it work? Um, why did I do it? Well, I'm, I'm really passionate about videography. Um, I love shooting videos and I also started doing audio slideshows, which I love too. And I can't live without my camera. Um, I basically take it nearly everywhere. <laughs> and um, so it was, I wanted to do a project about videography and about visual stuff. And I noticed that um, there are not enough or not a lot of videos about Birmingham based stories here. And I came across Notice because Sarah Hartley introduced it to us in our journalism course. And yeah, then I set up Visual Brum on Notice, trying to build up a visual community in Birmingham. So you've just done a little session that talked about local um, conference here. Can you just run me back over your little demonstration? Yes, I, I will. So um, we're here on Notice right now. That's which is, that's Notice. Um, everyone is able to post reports there. It's, it's pretty easy. And you can also um, create notice boards, uh, which are dedicated to a certain topic. In my case, it's Visual Brum and dedicated to visual stories, um, which should be videos and audio slideshows based in Birmingham. And Visual Brum is open to everyone. And it doesn't matter uh, what experience you have or uh, what equipment you're shooting with. Um, it's just important that the story is based in Birmingham and that it's newsworthy. Um, and we collect visual stories here, audio slideshows and videos. You can post fully edited videos. You can just post sequences you shot with your iPhone. That doesn't matter. And as I said, it doesn't matter what experience you got. Um, the community is also here to exchange feedback, give tips and extend each other's skills, which we are doing or which I'm trying to do in a forum I created. And um, that's basically it. Yeah. People can add, so somebody can uh, shoot a bit of video at an event perhaps and somebody else does something at that event and they can add on to that and they can add tweets and text. They can, they can. If someone is shooting a video about an event and then he can post it on Visual Brum and if someone else did a video about that event he can just add an update on that report so he doesn't have to, um, to post uh, a separate report, but he can just update the other report and post a video or a tweet or some text or a picture if he wants. So how easy is it to get going? It, it looks pretty easy to use, but there's still a few barriers for people? No, not at all, I think. It's, it's really, really easy. You just sign up and then you start over. It's really, really easy. So you're just posting a report is basically filling in the headline, writing a short description, and um, posting a video is really, really easy because you just, you don't need the embed code or anything, no coding, nothing. You just grab the link um, to your video and then you post it in your description box or in your update, if whatever you want. And um, then it will show up on notice. So no one has to click through another link and get to another site. It will directly be on notice and you can watch it right there. So you would normally upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, just grab the link from that, stick it in and you're there, which, and it looks as though notice is much easier than setting up um, a blog, for example. I would say it is. Um, I'm, I'm pretty glad that I used notice, because if I would have used the blog, I would have the problem that not everyone could easily post on my blog, because they would, wouldn't have access to my blog, and we, knew, we would need to sort that out. And um, on notice, everyone can join it. You just need to sign up, and then you post. No one's holding you back from posting, and it's really, really easy. You just grab the link, and you post it, and it's online and everyone can see it. So how does it mix in with Facebook, for example? Is it easier than Facebook? Are there advantages, do you think? Facebook, I think it's different from, I think Facebook is a, is just another another thing. So I, I wouldn't really compare that. But in, in terms of using it, it's, it's, it's as easy as Facebook, definitely. Even if not easier, it's, it's really easy to use it. It's really like you just, push the post, or post a, rep, a new re report button and then it's like in a few minutes you're done. Headline, description, link, that's it. Are you, um, are people that are using Visual Brum getting together to learn from each other? Not yet, unfortunately. <laughs> that's actually my plan. That's what I, what I want to because I don't want to 
just collect those videos and audio slideshows and uh, not speak to each other. My aim is that we are really having a communication there, that we are learning from each other, that we are having meetups, that would be great, and uh, running workshops, talking about stories, about um, feedback we're giving each other, and that, that's actually a big aim of mine, to really have a community that is helping each other out and um, helping to extend each, each other's skills. Do you think that um, video helped build community and relationships? I mean, one thing I always find, if you do a little bit of a video interview with somebody, they always remember you. Yeah, I think, I think video is, is really important. And I also think that people like watching videos, you know? I think you can get um, a lot of people on your side if you're offering videos too, because I think people really like watching videos or in general watching visual stuff, if it's audio slideshows or videos. And I think that that can be a great advantage if you're working with video. And it's fun. It's really fun.